example. So today um, I was posed with a question. Um, I'll read it first. It says, absolutely love your plan. Could you break down what you're actually doing with the passing chord phrases? Uh, that's where truly the magic happens. That's the stuff uh, that seems to be actually like the really cool stuff that's not broken down. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, man, do you mind taking an amendment to kind of show down and break down exactly what you're doing? All right. So today I'm going to talk about when I'm doing the passing chords and the, um, the ideology, the ideas behind what I'm doing. A lot of times when I'm playing these chord progressions, they're really simple. Some of the chord progressions are maybe two or three chords and they're kind of their space. But how do I fill up the space that's not that's musical, but that does not take away from anything else that's going on in the track? That's typically my first um, thought. I want to find whatever space that I'm in that sounds like something that's really cool and musical. So I have this um, bass track that I was working on um, that's really cool. It's in the key of F. So really, I'm just hanging on that two chord. Six. The three chords that I'm playing in this particular progression, but I want to I want to add some other stuff so it's not so boring and mundane. And what I mean by boring and mundane, if you're first starting out playing, play a pattern, play the pattern. But once you start to get a little bit more versed in it, and you want to start to kind of branch out a little bit, you want to start to become a little bit more musical, but not to the point to where you're taking away from the actual song. So let's play the track so you can hear the vibe of the track and hear what the track is doing, and then um, I'll show it from there. So you hear that? That's it. So basic chords. in it because I want to find those spaces to fill up and make it a little bit more musical. So here we go. So that nine. Diminish. Recycling some of the same chords when I'm playing, right? That two. But I'm voicing it different. So instead of me just playing that regular minor nine, I'm spelling it out. That chord, this one, paired with the diminished a lot of versatility. So again, those chords, just the, the basic chords, that two, three, and then six. to spice it up you can kind of recycle some of the same chords diminish chromatic those are some of the ideas behind what I'm thinking whenever I'm playing because I want to fill that space in such a way that it's tasteful. It doesn't take away from the track. All right, so I'm going to play my way out. Hope you guys enjoy this lesson. All right, cool. Let's take it out.
Hi there, it's Carrie. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's so much great content on this channel that's really gonna help you unlock the fretboard and play the way that you've always wanted to play. So go ahead, click the subscription button and that notification bell over there so that way you're always getting the awesome videos and the content that I drop at least once a week. Thank you so much for watching and keep on practicing. I'll see you soon.